In this video, I installed a mod that adds shields into the game. These shields allow me to dash into enemies to deal damage. Not only that, some even come with special abilities. This mod also adds in new armor sets, so the question is, will I be able to reach all the way to the final boss Moonlord using shields only? Stay tuned to find out. I would also like to announce the start of memberships for this channel. If you want to show some extra support, for $5 a month, you'll be able to access perks such as priority reply to comments, member shoutouts, photo and status updates, as well as early access to my newly created videos. Shout out to my most recent members who joined, I appreciate all of you. Link will be in the description below. Alright, let's get on with the video. Here we go, let's go get my hands on my first shield. And to do that, I just simply have to cut down some trees. There we go, got a decent amount of wood now. Let's make a workbench, and then I can craft the wood shield. And we got precise on it. So it has 7 contact damage, 4% critical strike chance, 1 defense, and it allows me to dash into enemies. So this doesn't act quite as a weapon, but more of an accessory. So if I right click it, it'll go into my accessory slot. There we go. With this shield, I can dash left, right, up, and down. Now, I won't be sticking with this shield for too long. It'll get replaced right away once I mine some ores to craft better ones. So let's try to find a cave. And to test out this shield, let's dash into the slime. Three, two, one. Oh, that knockback is pretty good. Okay, I think I've found my cave. There's an ice chest down here. Armored ice skates. Okay, found enough amethyst for a hook. Here's another ice chest. Gravitation potion. Okay, so I didn't expect to find a gravitation potion so quickly, which means change of plans. I was going to collect enough gold to craft the gold shield, but now if I can use the potion to find the star fairy, I can turn that into the star shield, which is a lot better. 26 damage compared to 18. So let's teleport home, drink my gravitation potion, and search for the sky islands. Okay, here's one. Okay, lucky horseshoe, I'll take that. 20 seconds left on my gravitation buff. Oh, this one, come on. Go, 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 go. Oh, just made it in time. Okay, please. Let this be the Star Fury. Moment of truth? No. Okay, the Star Shield can hold off for now. I'm just gonna go craft the Gold Shield. Let's first craft the Amethyst Hook. And then the Gold Shield. Ooh, it has armored on it. So once again, this shield has 18 damage compared to 7. This is a huge improvement. Same critical strike chance, but the dash increased by three. Let's test out the dash of the wood shield first. So it goes right up to the furnace. Then with the gold shield. Oh, okay, not bad. And might as well just craft the silver pickaxe to increase our mining speed. Oh yeah, that's a lot more damage. Let's head back underground to find some more life crystals and accessories. There's a heart statue. Okay, that's a lot of sapphire, which means I'll be able to upgrade my amethyst hook to a sapphire hook. Actually, never mind. There's a bunch of emeralds here, which is better than the sapphire. This life crystal is going to bring me to 200 health. Oh my god, wait a minute. Is that a diamond deposit? It is. Okay, looks like I'll be crafting the diamond hook then. Oh, just barely enough. Feral claws and the suspicious looking eye. I wonder how that's going to work. If I have both the shield of Cthulhu and let's say this gold shield, which shield will the damage be dealt with? Another heart statue. And then after these two life crystals, I'll be at max health. Hermes boost. No, I knew there was going to be boulders. I tried to get it as soon as possible. Okay, I'll go back down for that Hermes Boots later. But for now, let's craft the Diamond Hook, the Gold Pickaxe, 
And because I mined a whole bunch of silver ores, I'm going to craft the full silver armor. 29 defense. Oh, hold on a second. So the set bonus gives the usual 3 defense, but now also gives 5% increased contact damage and critical strike chance. It also increases contact damage armor penetration by 1. So my gold shield, before it had 18 damage, now it has 23. And whenever I dash, it increases the critical strike chance. Okay, made it back down. Let's go retrieve our Hermes boots. There we go. Now I'm going to resume the search for the Star Fury. I know I don't have any more gravitation potions, but if what I'm about to do works, then I won't be needing one. So with this shield, I'm able to dash upwards. So I'm wondering if it's possible to spam it before touching back onto the ground. Let's find out. Oh, yes, it is. No way. Okay. Yeah, I don't need any more gravitation potions then. Let's go search for the Sky Island like this. Oh my god, there it is. Finally. Now this should be the Star Fury. Yep. Now I can craft the Star Shield. And it has 33 contact damage. Plus a special ability. Shoots a star when hitting an NPC. Alright, let's equip it. And let's go dash into this purple slime. Three, two, one. One. Okay. So that's pretty much double the damage then. Let's build some NPC houses. And then I'm going to wait until nighttime to take on the Eye of Cthulhu for my first boss. It has finally turned into night. So let's drink my potions. And summon the boss. Here we go. Oh, wait, I'm doing triple the damage now. I think it's because it's so big. That was four hits. What? Oh, my. What was that? Oh, wait, no, that that is insane. Okay, upwards dash is a must. Oh, my God. No, that was so crazy. Jesus. Okay, let's calm down. Let's open up the treasure bag. Got the Shield of Cthulhu. So it does have 38 contact damage, which is higher than the Star Shield. But it doesn't have any special effects. But we're going to test it out anyways. Is the Shield of Cthulhu able to dash upwards? No, it's not. Okay. So for sure, I'll be sticking with the Star Shield then. Seeing how well I did against the Eye of Cthulhu, I think I'm ready for the Eater of Worlds. Alright, here we go. Coming from the right side. Boom! Oh yeah! I was right. That's a lot of damage. Oh my god. And every bounce, it generates a fallen star. Oh my god. That is beautiful. <laughs> That's like a bouncy castle right now. Oh, I'm kind of getting low though. Let's heal up. Almost done here. One more chunk. And Eater of Worlds has been defeated. To make sure I have enough Demonite bars and shadow skills, I'm going to defeat this boss one more time. All done. Wait, did a meteorite just fall? Oh yeah, it did. Okay. Let's mine this up as well. Okay, now having a bunch of Demonite Bars and Shadow Scales, I'm able to craft the Nightmare Pickaxe, as well as the new armor sets, the Guard's Helmet, Chestplate, and Leggings. Let's craft that. Okay, now we have 32 defense, and the set bonus, maximum mana increase by 20? Will there be shields that use mana? Possibly, maybe? Ooh, I can use the meteorite bars and the demonite bars to craft the enchanted shield, 35 contact damage, 
and shoots an enchanted beam when hitting an NPC. And then with just the demonite bars, I can craft the demonite shield. 36 contact damage, corrupts enemy on hits. Vice versa with just the meteorite bars, I can craft the meteorite shield. 32 damage and burns enemies on hit. Let's just craft them all. Oh, beautiful. Let's go test out the enchanted shield first. Here we go. Oh. Not bad, not bad. Then let's do the demonite shield. Oh my. Wait, wait, wait. That corrupt debuff is insane. Okay, now lastly, the meteorite shield. Yep, just as expected. Not as good compared to the Demonite Shield, of course, as well as the Star Shield and Enchanted Shield. Now, since I'm in the jungle, I will be farming enough materials to craft the Grass Shield. Because this shield is a material used to craft the Lunar Shield, which is basically the Knight's Edge version. So I have the Demonite Shield, still need the Magic Shield, need the Grass Shield, and the Hellstone Shield. Okay, got enough stingers now. Grass shield made. Let's go collect the other three. I'm gonna go for the Hellstone shield first, since that'll help against the fight with Skeltron. Finally made it down to hell. Let's start mining some Hellstone. That should be enough Hellstone. I've mined 451. I had to mine a bit more than usual, cause these armor sets require a lot of materials. First things first, the Hellstone Shield, then the Molten Pickaxe, and finally, the Defender's Armor Set. Chestplate, Helmet, and Leggings. So from 32 defense to 34, okay, I gained two more. But the set bonus gives me reduced damage taken by 5%. Now for the Hellstone Shield, it has a whopping 47 contact damage, still 4% critical strike chance, and a special ability. But to activate this ability, I'm gonna have to press a hotkey which is Q. Oils and then burns enemies on hit. Costs 30 mana. Okay, this shield uses mana. So it costs 30 mana and shoots lava shields towards the player's cursor. It also has 17 dash and six defense. Okay, let's test this out. So I press Q. Whoa. Okay. Wait, this is just going forever? Oh my. Wait, it does. Wait, that's nasty. It uses up a lot of mana. So whenever it turns to night, I'm going to collect as many fallen stars as possible to increase my maximum mana. Let's head over to the dungeon now to build an arena for Skeletron. Wait, this dash is so good. Oh my god, the vertical dash too. Holy, that's so high. There we go. Arena is all complete. Now we wait until nighttime. Night has arrived. Let's talk to the old man to summon the boss. Three, two, one. Let's go. Okay, hands first. I'm not sure if I should be using... Oh! Yeah, I'm not sure if I should be using... What is it? The enchanted shield for this? Right now, it looks good. Oh! Wait! Okay, never mind. Maybe I don't need to use it. Oh, that Fallen Star almost hit that boss. Oh, that sound! I do take damage, though, whenever I do that. Okay, let's try to kill this hand. Okay, and because it's shooting skulls at a very fast pace now, it's time to use the special ability. Let's press Q. Okay, that burn. That's a lot of damage. Almost done. Oh, that's close. Come on, come on, come on. Oh! 
That was too risky. Why did I do that? I mean, it paid off, but still. Now that I have access into the dungeon, I'll be looking for two items. One being the Cobalt Shield, and the other being the Muramasa. Once I get my hands on the Muramasa, I can turn that weapon into the Magic Shield. First gold chest. Okay. Oh, wait. Never mind. It's already in here. Well, I just got everything that I wanted in a single chest. But for the Magic Shield, it doesn't seem to have a special ability. But that's not going to matter at all, because I'll be using all four shields to craft the Lunar Shield. Alright, let's go ahead and craft it. 53 Contact Damage. Corrupts Poisons, Oils, Burns, and Makes Enemies Bleed on Hit. That's a lot of debuffs. Okay, let's equip it. Wow. Wait, that's even stronger. That's three debuffs from a single hit. It's still nighttime, so let's actually test it out. Okay, three, two, one. Yeah, look at all those numbers. Oh. Oh my. And then Q. Same thing as the Hellstone Shield. But damn. That's a huge improvement. It also has 18 dash and 7 defense. It's now time to take on the Wall of Flesh. Okay, made it to the end of the world. Let's drop in the Voodoo Doll. To begin. Three, two, one. Start shooting. Uh, it doesn't seem like my projectiles are burning the actual boss. I might have to dash into it directly. Let's see. Oh yeah, there we go. That's a bit risky though. Because I do take a lot of damage. But let's see if I can just burst it. Come on. Oh no, I have 100 health left. Run, run, run. Oh god. That was a bit close. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Just hit it. Oh! Come on, die, die, die! 47 health left. No way. I was so close. Okay, here we go. Round two. Okay, 2,000 more health left. I think when it gets to about a thousand health, I'm just gonna dash directly into it. Almost there. All right, here we go. Boom, 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 boom. One more, one more. There we go. Okay, I just have to play that a little bit slower. Let's open up the treasure bag and see what I get. Okay, nothing useful. Now with the bone hammer. Let's go to the Corruption and break some Demon Altars. So we've got... Palladium, Orichalcum, and Titanium. Okay, that's enough Palladium. Onto the Orichalcum. Wait, and this is my third Heart Statue. These statues are going to come in so handy, especially because I'll be dashing straight into enemies, so I'll be taking a lot of damage. Found a Cloud in a Bottle as well. And that's enough or calcum. Now I won't be mining titanium since there's not really an armor set for shields and the titanium shield doesn't have any special effects. So I'll be sticking with my current gear until I defeat the mechanical bosses. But before I summon them, let's kill some wyverns for souls of flight to craft a pair of wings. Okay, that's enough souls of flight. Okay, that's enough Souls of Light. Now I can craft Angel Wings. Perfect. All that's left is to wait until nighttime to summon the mechanical bosses. Okay, it is finally nighttime. So the first mechanical boss that I'll be taking on is going to be the Twins. Three, two, one. Okay, let's see if it burns. Uh, yeah, it does. Let's dash into it. Oh yeah. Just gotta keep doing this a couple more times. 
And that should be good. And those three heart statues are really helping. Oh my god. Almost second phase for the Spasmatasm. There we go. 5,000 more health. Okay, that's one down. Second phase. Almost done here. 1,000 more health. And... Come on! There we go. The twins have been defeated. Not gonna lie, that took a very long time. Now that I have some hollowed bars, I can craft myself the hollowed shield. 66 contact damage, 7% critical strike chance, and the special ability costs 200 mana to become immune, and has a 45 second cooldown. This will be really good, especially if I'm able to pull off that attack I usually do to deal a lot of damage consistently. So let's make it. Then let's try to collect as many fallen stars as possible quickly before morning arrives. Okay, well, it just ended. I've collected 36. I should be good. Yeah, there we go. 220 mana now. Okay, the next night has finally arrived. This time I'll be taking on the destroyer. And if I'm able to get to that clumped up part in time, I think I'll be able to blow up this boss in a matter of seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one. Go, go, go. Okay. Not bad. Alright, so that's it. Now, how is this immunity thing going to work? So I press Q. Three, two, one. Wait, what? It's not working. I think this thing might be broken. Okay, almost done here. Yeah, it sucks that the immunity thing doesn't work. And there we go. The story has been defeated. Alright, it's time to take on the last mechanical boss. Skeletron Prime. And for this boss fight, I'll be switching back to the Lunar Shield. Yeah, this shield is so much better. And my projectiles do inflict all the debuffs on this boss. Okay, it has finally reached 5,000 health. 1,000 more. Is the burn gonna kill it? Nope. Okay, all three mechanical bosses have been defeated. With all three souls from the mechanical bosses, I'll be crafting the pickaxe axe. Yes, there is the new armor set that I can craft, but in total, I need 84 hollowed bars. So whenever the next night arrives, I'll take on another mech boss to get enough. Let's head into the jungle now to mine some chlorophyte ore and to search for the plantera bulb. Oh, there's the plantera bulb. So I'll be making the arena right here then. Alrighty, the arena is pretty much all done, but as I was building it, I also found out that I'm able to upgrade the Lunar Shield into the true Lunar Shield with the souls from the mech bosses. So let's craft it right now. Oh wait, and with the Hollowed Shield combined with the Soul of Fright, I can craft the Aegis Shield. God persecutes enemies on hit. So this one, pretty much the same thing. Corrupts, poisons, oils burns. Oh, and it makes enemies bleed on hit now. It also has a different special ability. Shoots a knight's edge sword. Okay. Oh. Wait, it doesn't use any mana. Oh, I can just spam this then. Oh, my fingers are gonna burn though. And now for the Aegis shield, I press Q. Okay, yeah, this thing is also bugged. Okay, but let's test out the Knight's Edge Sword. So I press Q. Oh wow, wait, what? That dealt four hits from a single press. Wait, this thing is actually really good, what? Okay, let's defeat the twins to craft the new armor sets. This should be very fast now. Here we go. 
if I can just land my uh, Knight's Edge swords. Oh yeah, what that sound? Oh my, yo, my fingers are cramping up. Oh my god. Okay, that's one down. Oh my god. All done. Oh, I actually don't have enough. Okay, one more time. There we go. Now I can craft the Protector's Armor Sets. Okay, that's a huge difference. From 52 to 76. Oh, and the set bonus. Confuse enemies after being struck by them. And now my True Lunar Shield has 91 contact damage and 17% critical strike chance. And if I dash, it goes up to 22. Let's take on Plantera now. Let's start this thing up. Three, two, one. Where is it coming from? Top left. Oh yeah. That damage and sound is so satisfying. Okay, but if I dash into it. Okay, there we go. Inflict all the deep buffs. Second phase. Oh god, heal up. Oh, okay. Dead. I did not want to get that close to it, but it all worked out in the end. Let's head into the temple now to summon Golem. And there we go. The armor set effect does work. Made it into the boss room. It's a pretty decent size. All the traps have been cleared out. Okay, I'm good to go. Three, two, one. Jesus! Okay, I should probably start moving around. So I don't get hit. I can't really spam my attacks as fast as I'm moving though. Feels very awkward. Almost done here. No way! Oh my god, I was so close. Okay, I've changed hotkeys. So instead of Q to activate my special ability, it is now on my mouse button on the side. Now I can attack and aim with my mouse, while my left hand can focus on movement. Let's try this thing again. 3, 2, 1. Yeah, that's a lot better. Okay, head is down. Both fists are down. Yeah, I have a lot more health this time. I'm very close to be able to craft the Terra Shield. However, I do need to make the true Aegis Shield. And that's with the Aegis Shield and the Chlorophyte Shield. So I have more than enough Chlorophyte. I just need to find five Life Roots. Okay, and there is the last Life Root. Wait a minute. Okay, never mind. I do need to mine titanium to craft the titanium forge. Otherwise, I won't be able to make chlorophyte bars. Okay, that should be enough. There we go. Okay, let's craft the chlorophyte shield. 71 damage. Faster regeneration. Life steals 10 health per hit on enemies. Wait. If I'm able to do that attack, wouldn't I be able to just heal everything up? I guess I can test it out on the twins. Okay, damage me a bit. Okay, and then I need one of you guys to dash. Come on. Okay, here we go. Wait, what? That's the best Q? Life steals 10 health per hit on enemies. Yeah. It is not working. Huh. Unless the shield only works against smaller enemies and not bosses. Okay, let's test that one more time. So I get hit. I have 200 health. 
and then I will dash up. Yeah, okay. That would make a lot of sense. Otherwise, um, there's just no way for the bosses to kill me. Okay, this is my first goblin army. That took a very long time. But in order to craft the terror shield, I'm going to need a broken hero shield. So let's also summon the eclipse. There we go, all done. Let's also test out the true Aegis shield. Okay, I'm dead. So this shield has 81 damage. Become immune after striking an enemy? Oh! Wait. Am I immune now? Oh wait, I think there's a cooldown maybe. But anyways, uh, faster regeneration. Life steals 10 health per hit on enemies. And then the special effect shoots a Excalibur sword. Oh, okay. I think I still like the true Lunar Shield a bit more. Because it deals a lot more damage. Here's my first Mothron. Hopefully I can get the Broken Hero Shield. Oh, there it is. First try. Okay, let's quickly unequip this. Go, go, go. Terra Shield. 115 damage, 17% critical strike chance. And it basically combines all of the effects from those two shields together. But now, I'm able to shoot out a Terra Blade. Oh! This is the, uh, the old version of the Terra Blade. Kind of nice seeing this again. Oh, wait. And my dash deals two damage per tick now, instead of one. The next shield that I'll be crafting is going to be the Shield of Timber. To make this, I'm going to need all type of wood shields, including the spooky wood. So let's start up the Pumpkin Moon. Wait, and I'm pretty much invincible during this event. Because all these mobs do count as smaller enemies. So I can just lifesteal all of the health lost. Okay, and that's the end of the pumpkin moon event. I did manage to collect enough spooky wood. So let's craft the spooky wood shield. Then to save you guys some time, I've skipped me gathering the different types of wood. So here are all types of wood shields. I had to go to another world with Crimson to collect the Shade Wood. Otherwise, there's just no other way for me to craft the Shield of Timber. Alright, let's finally make it. So this one has 124 damage. Brutes appear in your cursor when hitting an enemy. This does have the same amount of dash as the Terra Shield, but one less defense. Brutes appear in your cursor when hitting an enemy. Why is it not... um? Oh, there we go. Wait, this is kind of bad. It only does one hit. Okay, yeah, the fruits don't really do anything. Now, all I need are some faithful fragments. And these can be dropped from destroying the celestial pillars. So, let's go take on the lunatic cultist. Three, two, one. Ooh, let's get that Martian to invade as well. I think I'm gonna need that. Okay. So my Terra Shield isn't able to inflict any debuffs, which is horrible. I'll still be able to do it, but it's just gonna take a much longer time. Almost done here. Okay, that took a while. Okay, first pillar is down. And there are the faithful fragments. Oh my god, I just needed one more fragment. Come on. Looks like I'll have to destroy another pillar. There goes the nebula pillar. Okay, now I can craft the shield of life. Ooh, 152 damage. Life steals 20 health per hit now. Shoots a hearted sword. Oh, wait, this is so fast. 
Okay, it's not bad. A lot better than the Terra Blade for sure. Oh, and there's the Influx Shield. Just what I needed. This obviously isn't nearly as good as the Shield of Life, but we'll test it out. Yep, as expected. Honestly, this isn't bad. Now that the Martians have been defeated, let's go take care of the two remaining pillars. Okay, there goes the Vortex Pillar. All that's left is the Solar Pillar. And there goes the last pillar. Let's get ready for Moonlord. Alright, here we go. Okay, let's dash into the eye. Dodge that. Oh yeah, that's a lot of damage right there. And all the fruits too, look at that. Yeah, my life regeneration is insane. Okay, middle eye is done. Time to focus on the hands. There we go, one hand is done. Okay, just the core now. This has got to be probably the weirdest way to beat Terraria that I've ever experienced. Just dashing into bosses, enemies. Okay, I'm kind of low now. Okay, let's heal up a bit. There we go. Yeah, this is very unusual. But it's an experience. <laughs> And Moonlord is done for. Let's open up the treasure bag. Oh, got the Meow Shield. Shoots cats. Okay, this has to be. Basically, the Meow Mirror. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Can we make anything with our Luminite Bars? Oh! I can make the Luminite Shield and Royal Guard Armor. Let's try to make the full armor set first, and then I'll make the Luminite Shield. So let's do... I guess the Royal Guard Breastplate, since it gives the most defense. Oh! Over a hundred defense. Okay, let's go again. I probably won't be using the mouse shield though, because it does not give the uh, life regeneration. We'll see how well it does first. Yeah, no. All right, Luna has been defeated once again. Oh, the Stellar Shield. Hold up. Shoots a blast of stars when hitting an enemy. Oh, damn. Okay. Okay, now, if you guys were paying attention, pretty much all of these shields are a material. And most of you guys can guess already that these shields are going to be used to craft the Zenith Shield. So the ones that I'm missing right now are the Copper Shield. B shield, seed shield, and the horseman's shield. The copper one is easy, I can just get it anytime. So let's do the B shield first. And for this one, I'm gonna have to defeat the queen bee. Okay, that's done. No B shield this time. Second one. There we go. Next up, the seed shield, which is inside. Plantera's treasure bag. Okay, here's a Plantera bulb. And let's try to drag it into my arena, which isn't too far away from here. Okay, here we go. 
God damn. Ooh. Okay, my frames just dropped. Okay, moment of truth. There we go. The seed shield. And now, let's get the horseman's shield. There it is. Hopefully from all of these silt blocks, I'll be able to get enough copper to make the copper shield. Okay, is that enough? Oh, I need three more bars. Okay. And that should be enough. Copper shield. Okay, I got everything that I needed now. Let's clear out my inventory. Bring all of these shields out. And then take out my shield of life. To be able to make the zenith shield. Oh my god, that took forever. Is it going to be worth it? We'll see. So it has 296 contact damage, 16% critical strike chance, no knockback, corrupts, poisons, oils, burns, makes enemy bleed, and god persecutes enemies on hit. Shoots a blast of stars when hitting an NPC, fruits appear in your cursor when hitting an enemy, become immune after striking an enemy, faster regeneration, life steals 25 per hit on enemies, and shoots a hearted sword, influx waver sword, pumpkins, nuts, stars, friendly bees, and a enchanted beam. With 30 dash and 15 defense. That was a lot. First, I'm going to check out the dash. Okay. That's just horizontal dashes. Now the vertical dash. Oh my. So the vertical dash. Shoots me all the way. Oh, almost hit the top. If I stand right there, then yeah, I hit the top. Damn. Okay, now we check out the special ability. Wow, look at that. Let's go test it on Moon Lord. Oh. That middle eye is already done. Wait, okay, and then our dash? Oh my god! Look at all those stars! Wait, this thing is crazy. Oh yeah, I forgot to make the Luminite Shield. So this one shoots a luminite shield. Okay, for some reason I thought it gives me a shield. Let's see. Oh, oh, they return back to me. Okay. Now I am going to do the celestial pillars again because I do want to complete the royal guard armor sets. How fast is this boss going to get killed? Oh my god. Got the fragments. Let's make the Royal Guard Greaves. 126 defense now. All that's left is the helmet. Okay, is that enough? Yes, it is. Royal Guard Mask. Wow. 130. 37 defense. And the set bonus? The king blesses you. You obtain the royal guard effect. Royal guard buff, power of friendship. Enemies become friendly after attacking you. Oh, okay. Not what I expected. Let's see. Um, They don't seem to work with some monsters. That is so weird though. They still follow me, but they don't do damage. Oh, I can't even kill them. Can this star cell do damage? I don't... Oh! Wait. Oh, they do! Well, I mean, one of the vortex monsters did. Yeah! Wait, that is so sick. Yeah, this buff is a bit buggy. Some enemies become friendly, so I can't kill them anymore, but...
but they can still attack me and damage me. Alright, time for Moonlord one last time. There we go! That's done. The hands now. That's done. <gasps> Wait! I wasn't even targeting this hand, and it still died the exact same time this hand died. Now this shield compared to the Zenith Sword, by far this one is a lot better. Alright, that's going to be it guys. Thank you all for watching. If you want to try this mod out for yourselves, I'll list all the mods I've used in the description below. Comment below if you have any other mods or video ideas you want me to try out, and of course, subscribe to the channel. I also recently opened memberships to my channel, so if you want to support me and this channel, then there will be a link for that in the description as well. You'll get loyalty badges, photos and status updates, early access to new videos, member shoutouts, as well as priority reply to comments. That's it for me. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.